of freedom, his spirit was born. Thara, they named him Thara. Like the wind, like the wind that is free. Thara, they named him Thara. To be king of the bush, his destiny. In the secret mountain veins, through the mist and ancient trees. Ghost like horse so proudly, silent as the breeze. Thara, they named him Thara. He's the son of the wind, strong and free. Thara, they named him Thara. And a king, yes, a king he will be. It's easy to forget in the beautiful isolation of the high country that man is not far away. Below the mountain pastures and the forests and gorges, in the closeness of the foothills, the civilization of man has crept past the flat, open country of the plains to threaten the serenity of the mountains. Not just man, but the animals that man has tamed. <laughs> Just flying, your mighty eminence. Flying as free as can be. It makes me feel so young. <laughs> you were meant to report on any sightings of man, not to go on a joy flight. Ah, your magnificence. Report on man indeed. No man in sight, mighty Brolga. Well, not in the high country, anyway. They are too preoccupied racing horses. And fast they were, too. Especially a young black colt called Ebony. The fastest horse I've ever seen. Well, except for that young troublemaker, Thara. What? <laughs> except for you, that is, sire. But Ebony did brag that no horse could possibly be his equal. Not even the mighty Brolga, he said. He can count himself lucky. He's not up here in the high country. at the stockman's race this morning. Well, I'm pretty fast, you see. The fastest, actually. It's my breeding. Big, well-proportioned body. Strong legs. Bet you're not as fast as Thaura. Who's this Thaura? Just the fastest and smartest horse in the whole of the high country. That's all. This Thaura couldn't be faster than me, though. Much faster, I reckon. Impossible. No, it's not. He's like magic. He runs like the wind. Not even the powerful Broger can catch him. Neither of them could possibly be as fast as me. I wouldn't be so cocky if I were you. <coughs> I saw you run today, and I believe you can beat Thara. But alas, we'll never know. What with you down here and him up there? Well, I'll just have to go up to the high country. I'll simply challenge him to a race. I wouldn't do anything rash if I were you. <laughs> do you want it to be known that you are the fastest horse? Or what? I am the fastest. Not until you've beaten Thaura, you're not. <laughs> Some new 
news that I'm sure to interest you. A challenge has been sent out to you by Ebony, the black racehorse. <laughs> <laughs> a tame horse challenging Thaura? He can't be serious. He definitely is. In fact, he's on his way right now. How will he ever find his way up here? He'd be lost as soon as he got 100 metres from his paddock. The Karawong helped him escape and is guiding him up into the high country. Hmm. <laughs> Not too much further now, my fleet for the trend. Follow me up and onwards. <laughs> It's only you. You scared me. I heard from the whipbird that Ebony, the racehorse, got away from his paddock and is headed up here. You've heard true, but I hear he's lost. Lost? Well, I've got to find him, help him. I hear he's magnificent and fast and that he can beat Thaura. Oh, so that's it. I should have known. How can he be lost? Well, he was being guided by the Karawong, but they became separated. Mm. Well, sounds like you'll need my help. See ya. <sighs> oh, excuse me, bird. Oh, a bird I am and a bird I'll be. But that's not the way you should address me. Mopoke, Mopoke. Uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Mopoke. I'm trying to find Thaura. I'm Ebony, the swiftest horse alive. Uh, Can you point me in the right direction? If Thaura wants to be found, in your path he will surely bound. Boke, 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 boke. Too far. Ah. <laughs> what? Arrow as well? Why is that numbskull with him? I know exactly where he is. I've heard that he is fast, but he can't possibly be as fast as me. Fast? <laughs> He's not fast. He's just a show off. You'll beat him for sure. Interfering fool. <laughs> oh, sorry to startle you. Mm, yes, yeah, sorry to scare. Just heard a noise. And, and there you were. I'd like to introduce my new friend Ebony, fastest horse in the world. Oh, I say, pleasure to make your acquaintance. Mm, yes, a pleasure indeed. Very pleased to meet you too. I rescued him, you know. Lost he was, lost and friendless when I. What a journey! Came. You should have seen how I escaped. When my owner was... Lost! Yeah, that's right, but thanks to me... He... Zip! Right over the fence. They thought I couldn't do it, but never underestimate a horse of my breeding. When I... Hey, I saved you. And I'm guiding you because I know the high country and you don't. Wise Arrow. Um, wise and brave Arrow. Wise, brave and knowledgeable Arrow will look after you. <laughs> Thank you. 
That's strange, Echo. That black colt's no Brumby. Looks like Bluey Smith's racehorse who won yesterday's cup. Come on, let's get a closer look. How much further? Not far, just... Yeah! Oh no! Let's get out of here! <laughs> Hi, Benny. What's up? It's Arrow. He's in trouble again. Oh, no. What now? This time he has the man on his tail. <laughs> it's not funny, Thara. <laughs> Arrow's not alone. Ebony the racehorse is with him. Yeah! Got him now, Echo. What's going on, Karawong? What's all the fuss about? It's Thaura, your mighty eminence. He's brought the man into our... Uh, oh, uh, I mean, your territory. Oh. <laughs> Check which way they're heading, Karawong. Then report back to me. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, I mean, sire. <laughs> <laughs> they don't call him Bralga the Bully for nothing. Oh. Yeah! It's okay. I lost the man. Are you all right? Yes. Um. Yes. I I'm. I'm fine. I guess you must be Thara. Yes, I am. And you must be Ebony, the racehorse. That's right. Uh, thanks for leading the man away. You uh, put yourself in danger. Oh, that's okay. Actually, I, I quite enjoyed it. Brolga's spy. We'd better get out of here. The Brolga will be furious knowing we're in his territory. We'll have to move quickly. Quickly? I'll have you know that I'm the fastest... Yes. It doesn't matter. After you. Ah, Oops. Ah, ah. Well? He managed to escape the man again, Your Magnificence. One day he won't be so lucky. But he's still in your territory, Master. Whoa. 
heart. A mere brindle gap. Frolicking, carefree, with a black cult from the forty. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry I'm so slow. Not used to the uneven ground. on my territory. I'll teach you to be more respectful. <laughs> Quick, follow me. <laughs> uh, is this a result of your meddling arrow? I don't know what you mean, Benny. Thar is always getting himself into trouble. Come on, Ebony, keep up! I can't, Thar. The ground's too rough. Follow me, Ebony. <laughs> you sure showed them who's boss, mighty Brolga. <laughs> they won't come back to your territory in a hurry. Oh, marvelous, magnificent. <laughs> Is it the Brolga? Is he still after us? Maybe we should move faster. Don't worry, it's not the Brolga. It's only Storm. He's probably wondering where we are. We're well clear of the Brolga's territory now. We're quite safe. Just a little further and we can join my friends up at the Ram's Head. Come on. <laughs> Hi, Benny. Hi, Boon Boon. I'm concerned about Thara. I wouldn't be if I were you. I'm sure he's fine. Thara does have a way of looking after himself. I guess I wouldn't be so worried if he was on his own. That racehorse may be fast, but he doesn't know the high country and he'll slow Thara down. See? Safe and sound. What did I tell you? Good on you, Thara. <laughs> A cosy little bunch, I must say. Mook, 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 mook. 
Oh, Arrow, Arrow, hiding here beneath this tree. Embarrassed you are and shamed you'll be. <laughs> be quiet, Mopoke. Thara is the fastest horse. Everyone knows, except you, of course. What? Thara is not the fastest. They didn't even race. Ebony could beat him. The racehorse is fast, I cannot deny. But to say he's the fastest is just short of a lie. Oh, I told you they didn't even race. Running for their lives was a race indeed. And it proved that Thara has the greatest speed. Bah, that's the greatest rubbish I've ever heard. And I've had enough, you stupid bird. Oh, Arrow, as a poet, you've got no hope. Because at heart, you're just a dope. <laughs> well, you've had quite an adventure. And you're lucky it didn't end in disaster. Yes, thanks to Thara. I feel stupid. I should never have come up here. I thought I had to prove I was better than Thara. But I'm not. You're a fine horse. Great speed. A bit too much vanity, but that'll go as you get older. Be best at what you do best. Don't try to be something you're not. Make sense? <laughs> That's getting late. I suggest you spend the night up here where it's safe and you can rest. In the morning, I can lead you back down to the foothills. Back to the safety of your paddock and the men who appreciate you and look after you. That's where you belong. You're right, Benny. I'm not used to this way of life. My ways are quite different to yours. And Thara? I'm sorry for all the trouble I've caused. Oh, that's OK, Ebony. It was actually a lot of fun. <clears throat> uh, well, well, sort of. <laughs> <laughs> So Ebony returned to his own territory a little less cocky and a bit more humble than when he had left. And Thara had a lot to think about after his adventure about the influence of man on one of his own kind, which was just as well, as man is full of tricks, and Thara was soon to find himself facing another, Thara's greatest temptation yet.